Hi guys, we're back in the studio and guess what, I've done something. It's been a week or more that I haven't even done anything and I can't believe it. Don't do that, don't do that, don't stop doing your potting or glazing or whatever. Because now I'm all in, a, all in a dither. Anyway, it's me, it's me again, Tracy, Earth Creative Studios. We're just back. So, I wanted to show you what I've just decided I'm going to do. I've just been trying to find some music. It's the oddest thing in the world to do when you want to put music on your video. So I gave up. So, oh, I've got my hair everywhere. So um, what am I telling you about? I'm telling you about this. I had a bit of an epiphany and I thought, what does epiphany mean? So I got on with something else and uh, did a bit of glazing. So look, Whoa, I decided to do a bit of mixing. I didn't know whether you could actually mix glazes. So I thought, what can go wrong? Because nothing ever goes wrong in my world. So I thought I'd give it a little go. So I've had my little pot out and I've had a little go at mixing up. And what I did is I did white in the middle and then I did a pale blue, which I mixed with some under glaze and then I just kept making it darker and darker. So I'm trying to do like an ombre kind of thing. I don't know what ombre is, so we'll see if that works out. Okay, so that's the back, that's the front. So I did a couple yesterday, but that's me plate anyway. Here's me bowl, again, ombre effect. Can you see it? Oh, it's a bit horrible in here, isn't it? There you go, and a little bit on the bottom, not too much. But wait for it. Look, did this one yesterday. It kind of worked out. I'm kind of liking it a lot. I wanted these sort of like up and downy wavy lines and a bit mixture, a bit like, I'm going to try and do it again with some gla glay and blee, which actually in my world is black and white. So glay and blue will be next and we'll see if we can do this effect again. I'm kind of liking it. So that's my bowl. What do you think? So I only did four things. I did two bowls and two mugs because Dave said to me, he went, Trace, what are you playing at? He said, every time you decide to do something new, you do a whole kiln load. And then if it don't work out, and I thought, do you know what? Oh, sometimes I'm thick as shit. And... We've had these conversations in the past, Dave and I, and he's, he, he tells me things and I, I'd sort of do this. Oh, God, I'm a div. And then it all, it all comes back to me and I realise that I'm doing it all wrong. So what I did, and, and the reason I did it is because I thought, well, that's a bit stupid, isn't it? Light in the kiln. <laughs> light in the kiln. It's not like light in the fire. Oh, God. It, it's a bit like setting the kiln going just for four things seemed a bit crazy a bit expensive and a bit crazy and then when we worked it out Dave said to me right just measure how much it is on the next one and we'll see if it's actually worth it so I did so I watched it I didn't watch it for the whole 12 and a half hours because that would have got really boring and I'm not very good at just sitting there doing nothing for 12 and a half hours. So I kept walking away and went to bed as well in between, came back and it was about five quid. So I was like, well, for five quid, that's actually worth it because it means that I can figure out if things were... Oh, I haven't shown you this one. I just tricked myself into showing you, which is really stupid of me. But anyway... Sorry, it's just a bit of wood. Um, so anyway, so I did a test firing of the four items that I aforementioned earlier. And um, guess what? They all came out bloody great. So there's my bowl that I showed you before. And I did two mugs as well. So tell me what you think. Do you like them? Do you loathe them? Are they a bit seasidey? Now, what I was thinking was putting on some seasidey music. Like a bit upbeat and happy. La, 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 like that. And I couldn't do it. And every time I went to do it, it said, right, you need to download this. So I downloaded it. It didn't work. And then it said, now you need a license. 
I was like, fuck's sake, why do I need a license? What else do I need to know in this whole YouTube mad social media world that is driving me crazy at the moment, just so as I can get myself out there for nobody to bloody watch me? If you do watch me, let me know. Feeling a bit fed up. Not really. But anyway, so here's my lovely mug. Do you like it? What do you reckon? So my bowl, my mug, and then and then I've got this stuff for plate. So there's gonna be a bowl, a mug, and a plate. And then I did a little bowl and and then I did a big bowl. Here. Do you remember that program? It's Friday, it's five to five, and it's cracker jack. Except I haven't got the bloody cabbage. But anyway, that's, that's, that's my new invention. What do you think? I kind of like it. Oh, God. I must stop being so precarious with all the things that I do. Sometimes I'm carrying it all down the stairs and I get about halfway dog. And dog? Halfway dog. Now, the reason I said dog is because I was going to say halfway down. And the dog, not my dog, my daughter's dog, always likes to sleep on that bit on the landing. So I get down and I'm like like this with big tray falls of glazed bisquare and then he decides to get up most of the time as I'm going down the stairs he decides it's time to get up and follow me but that's when he's in between my legs so I half ride him down the stairs then we get to the bottom and then I have to maneuver the stair gate as well I'm not joking it is like What's that program? Crystal flipping maze in my house. I'm like running around and then like trying. To, I mean, if you're not au okay fait with trying to open a child's gate, which most men of a certain age aren't, then it is tricky. But it's even tricky for me. So I get to the bottom of the stairs and I'm juggling. I've got the dog between my legs and just trying to get down there and I'll go, Dave, Dave, help me, like that, like like a damsel in distress. So he comes running out. He don't take the bloody stuff off me. He tries to then figure out the gate. Now, I'm not being funny, but what are men like if they can't do something? No, 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 I'll do it. Just wait a minute. I've got to figure it out. Now, the dog wants to go for a run. So I'm riding the dog like it's going on a run and I'm trying to balance all of these things like five, Friday it's five to five and it's crackerjack and I haven't even got any cabbages. So that's it. That's just, that's it. can you just see that that is just one tiny little section of my life, that tiny little section where I go from the studio down 14 stairs and all of that can happen in the meanwhile. Welcome to my world. So anyway, back to the music. Sorry, I don't even know why I went off on a tangent. Sorry I didn't get back to the music, but, um, oh, I did get back to the music. Sorry I didn't get the music on, but I am going to start doing that because I need to do it for my YouTube channel, which this will probably be on, so on here and on my Facebook page. And on instagram so we've got earthcreativestudios.com is my website earth creative studios um at etsy and then i've got my instagram which is earth creative studios you're getting the gist of this and then i've got my facebook page <laughs> which is love grandpa i can't change it i can't I, is that silly of me should i my daughter set me up a whole new Love Earth, sorry, Earth Creative Studio ones, and I just can't change it from Earth. I can't even, I, I'm talking shit now. This is how much I can't do. So, I can't change Love Grandpa. Hang on, where is he? I've got to find him. I don't think he's in here at the minute. He's, he's, he's on holiday or something. But... Normally I have him sitting around somewhere and he's just like my little bud. He was the person. <gasps> Hang on. I shouldn't really show you this, but David Williams beat me to it. Hold on. I'm going, but I'm coming back. Wait.
there's a lot of clattering it's because i'm clattering a lot I started writing a book so before bloody David Walliams and my book was called love grandpa and a kiss and this was him can you see him and it was all about this mad grandpa that used to get himself into all kinds of trouble with his grandchildren and I wrote the whole book and I illustrated it and painted it and it took me five years to actually even get round to finishing the illustrations because I'd do it every January and February. So I did the doodles. I doodled so many love grandpas, all different ones, and eventually ended up with him. So this is all my ideas in this book. They're all my ideas, all the stories that I had planned for him, his granddaughter, his, and all the things he got up to. And I've actually written and done the book. Obviously, I can't show you the whole book, but because I will get it published one day, even if it's just to give to my grandchildren. So if anybody's wondering why Love Grandpa is Love Grandpa, that's why, because that was just purely about all the crafts that I did at the time and, and about my lovely Love Grandpa there. So I was known as Love Grandpa, but I should have been Love Grandma, shouldn't I? Clearly, femininity at its best. Um, so anyway, that's it. Quick catch up for today. Lovely talking to you guys, but don't forget... I'm going to be bringing these to show you next time. So keep watching, keep subscribing, um, keep commenting and keep liking because that's what keeps me doing it. And if I don't get any comments, likes or shares or subscribers, basically I'm just talking to myself. Anyway, okay, see you next time, you crazy potters. Bye.